So today's uh, video is going to be on the kidney. I've been doing a lot, a lot of research on the function of uh, the kidney. And I truly believe this is, a, this is an overlooked organ. It's a major detoxification organ. Your kidney filters roughly 50 gallons of blood every single day. So just to give you a reference point, if you have a bathtub in your house, that's basically filling up your bathtub to the top. Um, that's how much volume of blood that we're talking about. So the kidneys will start to decrease in function. And when they start to decrease in function, uh, then there's toxins that are left in your blood because the purpose of the kidneys is actually to filter out the blood and clean the blood. And when that isn't working properly, um, you're going to have um, you're going to have uh, a lot of extra things in your blood that really cause uh, sickness and toxicity. So I hope you enjoy this uh, webinar, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. Okay, so. Uh, we're going to continue on and uh, talking about the kidneys and how important uh, your kidneys actually are. So just to give you an orientation, right, you have uh, you know, two kidneys right here. And then what you have is you have the artery uh, going in and then you have the vein going out. And then down here, that would be where your urine would be going down to your bladder. So just to give you a, a kind of a reference point on how much your kidneys actually work, is your kidneys filter 50 gallons of blood in 24 hours. So, you know, if you have a, a, a bathtub, basically 50 gallons fill up a bathtub. So 50 gallons per day your kidneys are filtering. So your kidneys are a key, key, key component to uh, detoxification and eliminating a lot of the waste that's sitting in your blood. So if your kidneys aren't functioning optimally, you slowly over a period of time will have toxins develop in your blood and then I mean, that just causes people that have you know, a lot of health problems and, and conditions. Um, this next video here, this next video here, um, what, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna show you here or, or what I'm going to go over is this is actually, uh, this is actually, um, um, you know, it's going to go over how the kidney works. I'm going to stop and I'm going to um, just uh, say a few things. So, so the first thing here, we're just just zooming in on, on your kidneys, okay? And then you see the blood flow coming in and out, and then you see the urine coming down here. The renal system consists of the kidneys. Okay, so it's just kind of going through what it what it does here. It balances the blood volume pressure, ensures balance between sodium, chloride, potassium, calcium hydrogen phosphate and it eliminates a lot of toxins right uh, from your bloodstream so it's just taking a, a quicker picture and we're going into the kidney here we're sort of get microscopic um, so what you're seeing here you see this little red dot right there okay so that that's kind of the arteries going in and then this yellow thing right here that that's actually the urine um, so we're going to take a closer look at that. Okay, so we're going to kind of zoom in here. Um, I really like this uh, picture here. Again, you see the arteries coming in, um, the blood flow coming in. So what happens here is what you're looking at is you have millions and millions of these little uh, tubules uh, right here. So you're going to have the blood flow come in right here, and then you're going to see the blood flow go out. And then what exits here would be the waste or the urine. Okay, so this would be the, 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 the fluid, the fluid, right? And then this is the blood, and it gets rid of, the blood is trying to get rid of all the toxins, and it excretes it out here into your urine, and then the blood flow goes out there. So you can see those little arrows there. Those arrows are telling you, these little things right here, are telling you that the toxins are moving outside your body. Now we're going to zoom in closer. Now this is a really, really you know, significant picture. 
you can see this this would be where your urine would be right here the urine or the waste okay I'm just gonna put waste products are right in here now this is the bloodstream right this is the blood now check this out this is one cell thick so this is really significant because if you have a lot of inflammatory processes this here is going to get broken down just like your gut if you've ever seen any stuff that I've produced about leaky gut your gut is one cell thick so it's one cell thick between the blood and then the filtrate that's taken out of your blood so let's just continue the video so you can see here those yellow lines that's the waste the waste product coming out of the blood it's filtering the waste that's the, the red blood cells so this is a really good picture right here you can see this is the red blood cells the waste is like in here and, it, and it's excreting it out here to your urine okay now this is another great video again uh, this is really where the exchange happens between the blood and the urine now look at this this is one cell that's one red blood cell right so what we're talking about here is very 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 small these are just like one red blood cell can get uh, you know in this little it's called the Bowman's capsule can get in there so it's very very small so you see it's starting that starting to filter the blood and then and then the toxins come out here and there's millions and millions of these in your in your in your kidney right so I just wanted to just say, see so you can see how the kidneys work again it's one cell thick the blood's coming in here coming out and all the excess waste is being filtered out there okay so I just want to make sure that you kind of understand the mechanisms behind uh, what's actually you know what's actually going on I just repeated it a few times just so you can see it but I mean it's one cell thick that's really the shocking thing um, about what's happening with your body it's only one cell thick okay so on your labs here it's called your glomerular filtration rate so what that stands for I'm just gonna kinda read that your glomerular your GFR glomerular filtration rate is the best test to measure your level of kidney function and determine your kidney your stage of kidney disease your GFR tells your doctor your stage of kidney disease and helps the doctor plan your treatment if your GFR number is low your kidneys are not working well and as well as they should the earlier detection the better chances of slowing uh, the, the the degeneration of your kidneys so if you can just see here the levels is basically you want your level to be uh, 90 or higher and I'll explain where this number comes from and as you can see as you go on here the number gets lower and lower and lower so at 15 you'd have basically you know what we call kidney failure now down here you can see this is actually my mom right so look at her kidney so she's at 55 so we want it uh, we want it greater we want it greater than 90 and over a hundred would be would be most ideal so this is my mom so she would be at moderate decrease um, in GFR so she's having some problems that are happening uh, with her with her kidneys because you again you want this over over 90 right so anytime you see these slower markers that would tell you that the toxins would be really developing in your bloodstream um, you're not filtering all the toxins out so what happens here uh, here's your bloodstream comes in right it filters and then the filtrate goes out and then it goes around so so again there you have millions of these things here so this is actually the urine would be right here right this yellow stuff would be the urine so as your as your blood goes through here your body just knows to get rid of the toxins and then it ends up making uh, urine so you want a really clean and systemized flow of this you don't want any backup that's happening right here and I'll show you what's going to happen with the backup now before we get on to that this is um, we're, we're blowing we're blowing like this portion we're blowing this portion up okay so you see this here um, this would be the artery right here and my point here is this is just one cell thick right so it's one cell thick between 
um, you know, your blood and the urine. So if you have a lot of damage, right, all this is one cell thick, one cell thick, one cell thick. So if you have a lot of damage, you have a lot of inflammation, these cells right here become weak, right? When they become weak, um, they just don't filter co correctly and things will actually get backed up. These cells actually don't allow filtrate to get through into the urine is what's really happening. Um, so the way I would describe this is what's happening with your kidneys is the blood comes through here, the blood comes through here, right? And then exits and then the filtrate goes out. Now what is happening is just imagine if you have a dirty, dirty furnace filter like in here. So all these cells, what I, which I showed you, the one, the one slide above, are one layer thick. If all these cells are chronically inflamed, right? There's a lot of inflammation. Um, the cells are sticky. The cells don't function correctly. They can't eliminate toxins. What's going to happen is the 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 urine or the bad stuff from the blood is not actually going to be excreted into the urine. It's going to be backed up. So just take this filter here for a second. If this is your filter in your furnace, your furnace is going to have to work harder, right, to push the same amount of air through your house, and uh, and the airflow going through your house is going to be less. So so the so the furnace has to work harder, and the airflow getting to the house is less because this is going to be all backed up, and it can't actually get um, you know through the furnace. So what's happened when you actually have a low uh, GFR, you see where the GFR is, well, what's happening is this is what's happening right here to this part of your kidney. It's a dirty filter. So if it's a dirty filter, things back up in your bloodstream and you can't eliminate the bad things that are in your blood. Now, the reason why I show you this, this Diet Coke bottle here, because basically every minute there's about 20 ounces of blood that are going through your your kidneys and over a period of time over a day that e equals 50 gallons so if your kidneys are sluggish this is what's what this is telling you that this area right here is going to be a dirty filter and this is a dirty filter the toxins that would normally be excreted out of your body aren't excreted and you become toxic so what I've really found is doing the functional medicine is you can really catch a lot of weak or sluggish kidneys before it becomes a problem so here are just some lab tests, right? So if you have your lab, you might want to get out your lab. Uh, but we have a 30-year-old female right here. Um, and you can see, let me change my pen here. Um, you can see here, 35-year-old female. And her, I don't know if you can see that or not, but her uh, filtration rate here is uh, over 100, right? So they have two types. They have non-African-American, so this would be you know Caucasian. And then they have African American. So you can see here, this is over 100. So that would be really good. Here's a 72 year old female. You can see hers is at 88. That's good. Okay. Anything that's starting to get less than 70, you need to be concerned about. So here, okay, this is my mom. I showed you my mom here. So this is, she's, uh, uh, she's like 60, 68 here, but hers is uh, 55, and that's low. So that's becoming a problem. Here's another female, uh, 67. Hers, or 67 and her filtration rate is 67. Now, they consider lab low to be less than 60, but what this is telling me is, is I see a tendency of her kidney not working right over a period of time, and you know that tells you that her body is just not detoxifying all the stuff out of her blood. We have here a 62-year-old female at the bottom, and you can see hers is 54. So I really like to see these numbers here. I like to see these numbers, um, you know, ideally as high as possible. You'd like to see this really um, greater than, you know, greater than 80 for sure. And you'd like to see this uh, closer to, to 90 or over 90 if possible. So you can just look at these numbers and this will give you an indication of how well the kidneys are functioning. Then on a functional level, you have to look at like why aren't the, the kidneys uh, uh, functioning optimally and there's a bunch of reasons for that and these are just some of them so if you have a long uh, you know, if you have high high glucose right uh, that's going to cause 
those cells in the kidneys to malfunction. And just imagine glucose is sticky. It causes the kidneys to work harder. That's why diabetics are known for having you know, kidney failure because anytime you have high glucose in your blood, that causes the kidneys to work harder. That causes the filter to become dirty just like your furnace. So all these things I listed right here cause your filter just like your furnace in your car to become, or in your house, to become dirty. When it's dirty, the kidney has to work harder, and when the kidney has to work harder, eventually it just starts to give out, and that's where you see that lab start to decrease. So all of these things here cause your kidney to work harder. So uh, A, A1C, if you have questions about what these are, you should watch the video that I made on inflammatory markers. Um, so A1C, this is a 90-day blood sugar marker. CRP, this is a global inflammation marker. Homocysteine, that's another inflammation. Fibrinogen, this is another in inflammatory marker. High fibrinogen actually makes your blood thicker. So if your blood's thicker, it has to work harder to, to get to penetrate into those little capillaries where you, where you saw the one red blood cell going in that little capillary. Low vitamin D. Uh, sed rate, this is on your blood work. Uh, that's just another um, inflammatory marker. Anytime you're inflamed, your blood's thicker. It just takes more effort to filter out through your kidneys. Your kidneys just start to eventually wear down. Uh, lots of autoimmune conditions can cause kidney problems. Why? Because when people have autoimmune conditions, they're chronically inflamed. Chronic inflammation is going to cause your kidneys to work harder and eventually tax your kidneys so you have uh, a low-functioning uh, kidney. So what are some things that you can do to help yourself to get your kidney functioning back? Go low glycemic foods. If you don't know, don't know what that is, you know, watch some more of my videos. Go paleo diet. You know, basically it's low glycemic foods, uh, fruits, nuts, vegetables, and meats. Uh, if your markers are are high, your inflammatory markers, we want to start to decrease those inflammatory markers and get those lower. A1C, which should be 5.3 or less. Fasting glucose should be between 80 and 90. These are some things that have a lot of research behind actually the next three things, actually supporting your kidney and giving your kidney support. L-glutamine, um, anywhere from 10 to 30 uh, grams per day. Okay, that's 30 grams, 10 to 30 grams per day. Cordyceps, which is a herb, and goldenrod, which is another herb. These have been shown to really support your kidneys and uh, increase uh, the function of your kidneys and take the filter, the dirty filter, and make the filter a little bit cleaner. Right? So I hope you can visualize that. Is What we're trying to do is clean up the body, um, decrease the inflammatory response, decrease the inflammation, and your body just is naturally, is going, is naturally is going to just start to decrease or clear up the filter. So it's going to put a dirty filter in there, and over a period of time, that dirty filter is going to become a cleaner filter. Uh, so you're going to restore your kidneys, and on top of that, you're going to start to decrease and eliminate those toxins in your body. So I hope this has brought some clarity to uh, your kidneys and how your kidneys function. I really believe that this has been a really a missing link in, uh, in, uh, in, in people and in the functional medicine world. So uh, take care, and I hope to see you uh, later. And I uh, uh, look forward to you continuing to learn and get, and get better.